All right, so what we're going to go over today is how to get an external display or basically what they call a pan adapter on almost any radio. Pretty much anything you can cat control that you can hook up to your computer, you can get an external display on. You can control the radio through the computer, you can control the computer through the radio. So I'm going to show you a generic setup today. We got the IC7000. We've got one of these cheap RTL SDRs is the new version, version 4. A little adapter cable from BNC to SMA. One of these cat control cables for the radio. And here's something that I made. I'll put a link for a manufactured one. I'm trying to build something for POTA, so this is just kind of a test run. But what this is, is an antenna switch. So what this allows you to do is share your transmit antenna with the SDR. So you go through the two SO239s, it's just a pass through. So basically what you have is an RF tap in here. This is your source for the SDR antenna. And basically what's in here is the tap and a relay. When the ICOM is keyed up, it sends a signal to the relay and it grounds the antenna for the SDR so it doesn't overload the front end of the receiver. So I'm going to show you how everything gets set up, what software you need, what's going to talk to what, how it's all going to work, and we'll go from there. So. On this, like I said, I made this. I'm trying to figure something out for POTA. What we have here is the 13 pin DIN plug made to connect to the accessory socket on the back of the ICOM. So we'll connect that. And now what this does, I'm only using three of the pins out of here. I'm using the power, the ground, and a ground when you push to talk. Now when you're building this, on this radio in particular, there's two separate signals for, um, for the relay. There's one for HF and there's one for VHF, UHF. It's a separate pin. But either way, no matter what band you're on, when you key through this, it'll ground the antenna and that'll be represented on the program. And I'll show you how all this goes. So, first things first. You plug in the SDR. We're going to open SDR console. I'll put links to everything down below. We're going to take the adapter. Put the BNC on here. The SMA right to the antenna input on the SDR receiver. Plug that in. Then we have our cat control. And now with this antenna box, what we do, just press the feed out to the antenna. This is a jumper to the radio. Now they do make generic switches like this. They actually just came out with a new one, but it's about three or four times as much as a standard one. I think you can get the standard ones now for around $45. Like I said, I'll put a link down to it below. All right, so we've got the cat cable plugged in, the SDR receiver plugged in. We're connected to the antenna box. The antenna box is connected to the radio. Here's our antenna in, here's the radio in. 
and this is our little jumper to the SDR. So now that that's all set up, I don't know how clear this is going to be. It's okay. I have several SDRs, so we picked the one we're using, version 4. You hit start. Turn on the icon. And now what we have is a visual representation. The 7000 doesn't come with a band scope. This allows you to have that. You can get an external display off of the icon. But it just mimics the screen. You could put the screen on a bigger, you know, monitor. So, how do we set all this up? So this is a program called SDR Console. I'll put links to everything so you can uh, download this. There's several different applications to choose from as far as what you want displayed on here. There's probably 20, 30 different SDR softwares that you could use. You have to check which ones are, you know, will function with your specific SDR. This one's pretty generic. This covers a lot of different radios, so we're gonna use this. This is the one I use personally. This is my favorite out of everything. And again, this is SDR console version three. So, the way we get the radio to talk to the computer is a program called OmniRig. Now right here you'll see a, a window that says external radio and you can see down here it says IC7000 online. I have boxes 1 and 2. This will switch between the Yaesu 991 and the ICOM 7000. You can use two radios with this program so I'll show you OmniRig. Okay. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. So what you have here is OmniRig. And what this is... This interface, Jesus, you can't see it. This interface is with the radio. So, man, I can't help this. This glare on here, I could shut this. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Okay, so what you do here, you select your rig type, what COM port you're using, your board rate, data bits, blah, 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 blah. All the standard stuff that you're gonna need to set up when you set up the CAT control for your radio whether it's for a logging program or anything, you're gonna have to use something like this. There's a couple other programs that'll work in place of OmniRig, but this seems to be the most universal. So once you set all this up, okay. You're gonna need to install the drivers for your, you know, for your uh, radio cat control. You're gonna need to install the drivers for the SDR once all that's out of the way, you can get instructions on how to do that through the SDR sale and whatever. It's easy enough to find. So now what we have, you can see right here that I can scroll by just rubbing my fingers on the mouse pad. And it controls the radio just the same and now you have this if you want to tune around on the radio it'll control that now you can use this as your receiver this has its own receive and this will come through the computer speakers there is a little bit of latency on the receive between your radio's receiver and the computer receiver. I haven't figured out a way to to, sh to lessen it, 
but it seems to be it works well enough it's a little tough when you're trying to get through a pile up but if you just use the receiver on the radio it doesn't really matter because you're still going to see everything on here so let me show you what this little antenna box does Plug in the mic. so now when I key this you could see that it blacks out the screen where this black line is is where I'm grounding the antenna through this so now as you're transmitting this antenna is grounded so you're not overloading the receiver on this so if you got any questions if you want something a little more in depth I know the, there's a lot more to explain in how all this works but this is the basics what you need what's um, you know what's available out there and this really um, really makes a nice addition to the shack I've been building this box now for the last few days because I want to run an SDR on doing POTA activations and I didn't want to buy the other box. This is nice because it's self-contained and everything is controlled through the radio, whereas the other one you have to run separate power and ground and signal and everything. So this cuts out the middle man and plugs directly into the radio. I'm not thrilled with the case that it's in. This is just a box I had laying around. But for now, it works. So, if you guys got any questions, anything else you want me to uh, go over, explain a little better, let me know. Good luck.